What can this script do? In this video, I'll walk you through 16 use case scenarios or more that you can use this script for Windows or Mac for in your workflow. Welcome to this video and basically, this script is an all-in-one audio and video editing application that makes audio and video editing as easy as editing a document. This was not the case initially. The script has been built up as an automatic transcription application, but over the years, it has transitioned into a full-fledged audio and video editing application. So it's good to have you on this particular journey as I walk you through the different steps. There is no specific order to these different use cases. And also there are detailed tutorials if you'd like to check them out in the description below. I'll also make sure that I include the timestamps to the different use cases you can use Descript for. Welcome to this video. My name is David and it's good to have you with me. So use case number one, what Descript was, uh, was built to do, automatic transcription of audio and video to text. Does the job pretty well. If you have a good audio in English, it automatically transcribes with 95% accuracy. At the time of recording this video, only English is supported. That's the only downside, but I believe in future versions, other languages will be included. Let's move to use case number two. The script supports editing of the audio by editing text. So clearly what you need to do is if you think a particular automatic transcription has an issue, just highlight it. And then when you press delete, that issue is gone. You just edit the audio. That is the wave that you see at the bottom just by editing the text. Pretty simple and straightforward. Next up, this script has a powerful screen recording application. And this screen recording application supports automatic transcription in that as I record this particular screen recording, and this is done being done in OBS, then if I was using the script, the script would be automatically transcribing that. Secondly, the script supports studio sound in that when studio sound is enabled, the script will automatically analyze your surrounding and make your audio sound like studio quality. This is pretty awesome. Supports up to 1080p, I believe, uh, video recording. Not sure about uh, 4K, but at the time of recording this video, you can record your screen using the script with automatic transcription enabled or disabled, studio sound enabled, make you sound sweet and all those good things. Use case number four. You can convert text to speech using overdub. Overdub is really scary, but in a good way, but also can be used in a bad way. But let's assume you record podcasts or you want to make an edit or maybe change a sentence. All you need to do is just upload an audio file into the overdub section of the script and the script will analyze and learn the way you speak. Get your accent and all that. And then if you wanted to change any particular section where you've made a mistake, instead of recording that particular audio, just change the text and overdub will kick in and correct that for you. It's pretty scary, but awesome way. You can actually just paste in a whole transcript and create a full audio podcast using that. Makes life easy, but make sure that you use it for the right purposes. Use case number five, creating audiograms. Audiograms are short snippets that you can use to promote your podcast or just maybe pass information along. This is done really well inside the script and there are a couple of templates available. You can always check them out, but I feel they're limited in that you cannot control the waveform or maybe just add different aspects of this the way you want to have the podcast or basically the audiogram look the way you can do it inside headliner. So it would be awesome if we could get a landscape view or a wide view, because at the moment, the uh, audiograms available are just square in orientation, or even also we need the vertical audiograms. I believe in future versions of the script, this is going to be released. So that's use case number five. You can create audiograms using the script. Use case scenario number six is that with the script, you can easily create subtitles or captions for your videos. And what I'm talking about here is creating SRT or subrip subtitles or web VTT video text track subtitles. And the good thing I love about the script is that you have the option to set the number of characters you want per line. 
let's assume you're going for something like between 30 and 42. Uh, maybe a sweet spot of 37 characters per line and then two lines, three lines, depending on what you want. But two lines is a good number. If you want to go for one, what works for you? Just make sure that you limit the characters to around 37 characters per line. Makes these particular subtitles easily readable to your audience. So you can easily do that inside Descript. Use case number seven, banning fancy captions to video. Now, basically what fancy captions in Descript uh, refer is that you can ban in subtitles to your videos, which is a really good thing, especially if you want people to watch the video with the sound turned off, but read the captions or the subtitles as they follow along. Now, the only downside I have with fancy captions is that the way we used to banning in subtitles to a video is not how they're done inside the script. You cannot set like the number of characters you want per line. I wish it was possible. Uh, the font size dictates what you get. So uh, that is a downside. But there's something that was introduced recently called word level animations. And what this does is that it keeps your audience glued. And also, instead of using audiograms, then with fancy captions banned into the video, you can create longer sort of audiogram-ish content that is longer, but now with fancy captions because audiograms only support two minutes at the time of recording this video inside the script. Use case number eight is that you can edit video by editing text. Just like I've mentioned uh, when we were talking about editing text uh, or editing audio by editing text, Inside the script, you can edit videos by editing the text and it makes life pretty simple. Just select the text that you want to remove and when you hit delete, the video is going to be cut. Basically what is applied is a jump cut between the two clips that you've actually cut. Pretty awesome stuff, man. It's pretty, pretty awesome. Use case number nine, you can record, edit and publish a podcast to your favorite podcast hosting application. Uh, basically what is available inside the script but all you need to do is just plug in your mic maybe you and your audience record your podcast you can also uh, i believe you can also bring in uh, a zoom recording there's a way they have a, a particular article you can actually do that it's just that i've not had the time to do a zoom recording uh, with somebody and then you can just rope in or just uh, integrate the zoom to go through the script and then you can record that through there either have it automatically transcribed or automatically transcribe it later and then you can edit it inside the script and publish it to sites like podcast.co that is use case number nine and use case number 10 is it's possible to automatically add timestamps to transcripts in the script if you're a transcriber you know that if you want to add uh, timestamp using different applications and for this purpose I'll mention Expresscribe then you know that you need to maybe keep on holding the hotkey or whatever. With the script all you need to do is just have your transcript in the script and the audio and once you go to the export option all you need to do is select when you need a timestamp applied for example every minute every two minutes ATC. It also depends on what your client wants because some clients need timestamps added after every two minutes really depends on what you want you can just check it out and there are detailed tutorials for most of the things that i'm mentioning here and if there's any tutorial that i've not yet covered i'll cover that in future and add it below so use case number 11 it's possible to import ready transcripts so if you're working on a script or using a script then instead of having the script automatically transcribe your audio into transcript again, you can just upload your audio into, pro into the project section and then import a transcript once you create a sequence or basically a composition. It makes life easy such that all you need to do now is just work with the transcript that you had. And this is uh, really awesome, especially if you wanted to just convert the transcript into subtitles, if you wanted to use the transcript maybe uh, to create videos from that, just by now populating the project folder with video assets. Use case number 12 is that you can create an interactive transcript with an embeddable player. And this is something that we've always wanted, especially if you want to embed an interactive transcript on your WordPress blog or basically a website, then 
with Descript, it's possible. I have a tutorial about that. I will walk you through step by step through everything and including all the codes that you need to cover. It's pretty simple. Use case number 13 is that you can export compositions to different platforms. And this you can access via the share button and then the export. And if you want to export your composition to different platforms, there are a couple that are available. And then you can export your composition to YouTube, Buzzsprout, Captivate, Castos, eWebinar, Headliner, if you wanted to create audiograms inside Headliner, Hello Audio, Podcast.co, Restream, Transistor, Video Ask, or Witsia. Really awesome. All you need to do is just click on whatever button, authenticate, and just upload your content to the different platforms. Use case number 14. You can automate repetitive processes with Zapier. Now, Descript and Zapier. Oh, basically, Zapier is a free tool, free in that you have a number of Zapier Zaps that you can create in a month. You can use this for repetitive tasks. For example, if you want to automatically transcribe audio into text, and at the time of recording this video, Descript and Zapier only support audio, video is not yet supported at this moment, you'll need to create a Zapier account. And since you have a Descript account, now all you need to do is just create a Zap. A Zap. It's more or less like a workflow. And then you need to create a trigger whereby the trigger will say if a file is added to Google Drive or Dropbox, then the next thing is an action. An action to automatically have Descript transcribe that particular file that has been added, let's say, for example, into Google Drive, then that happens. And then you create another zap that says, once the transcript is done, can I have it back inside the folder or probably emailed to my email. It's pretty simple and I believe I'll do a tutorial on this so that I can walk through those different steps. Use case number 15. There is a timeline export feature to non-linear editing applications. When you edit your videos, let's assume in the script and basically that's what we're talking about. Instead of now uh, having to go and start over again inside uh, a non-linear editing application, you can just export using the timeline export feature to let's assume Premiere Pro. There's also, I believe, Final Cut, Audition for audio, and then you'll find your edits ready. I believe what you get is an XML file, and this makes life easy, especially because you're editing the video by editing the text. Use case number 16 is that the audio enhancement feature we talked about called Studio Sound, it helps improve your audio quality into studio sound quality. There are a couple of caveats here because sometimes I've noted that when people uh, record with good microphones, they mention that the audio is distorted. So try it out and see what works best for you. But mostly if you're working or recording audio in a noisy environment, studio sound will make your audio sound more or less like it was recorded in a studio. Use case number 17 is that you can edit videos from scratch. And basically all you need to do is just add multiple resources to a project and then start creating your video from that particular uh, option. So you can just, uh, if it's an interview, just drag and drop it, have it transcribed, add other assets, lower third images and all that. So that is 17 use case scenarios that you can use Descript for and that is Descript for Windows and Mac. I believe this list is not exhaustive because Descript is continuously evolving. Thank you for watching this video and I know that I'll see you around more tutorials like this. Thank you for watching and until next time, stay safe and never stop learning.